What's up, guys? Welcome back to Jedi Jive. My name is Mike. Season 2, Episode 5 of The Bad Batch coming at you. Last week's episode was kind of a standalone episode. Uh, there were a couple of plot lines uh, that may have been initiated. Number one, Sid now pretty much owes like a life debt uh, or, you know, a debt in general to Omega and The Bad Batch. We'll see how that plays out. They kind of set up a scenario where Sid's going to have to, you know, make a moral decision at some point. It could go either way. She could just be Sid and it could be all business or she might actually have developed, uh, you know, feelings and actually care about uh, the squad at this point and may want to help them uh, regardless of whether or not it's bad for her. And then the other scenario is that Tech kind of just pretty much blew up his... because they had to um, win that race and Tech stood in there for, for, the, uh, for the droid and they were all cheering his name at the end. If they wanted some anonymity and to be low-key and not be found out, that wasn't the best way to do it, obviously. But uh, that could potentially come back to haunt them. So even in a standalone episode here, we're still potentially setting up seeds of ways that we can tie back in and, and have this affect everything. So uh, I love it. I'm having fun. I can't wait to jump in and see more. Guys, let's do it. We'll talk about it afterwards. Uh, I love a good junkyard. We'll definitely find a spare compressor here. Among other things. <laughs> You got that right? Yes! You find anything good? Check it out! Ooh, yeah! <laughs> I had no choice but to fend off the Octomorph. Barehanded. This story changes every time she tells it. <laughs> it is a manifold regulator, and a broken one at that. Thanks. Clone obvious. <laughs> These look like coordinate markings. <gasps> oh. This is a compass. One from long before our time. These coordinates are in the Kaldar trinary system. Trinary system. Three stars. I can go alone and take the spoils for myself. Or... We go together and split it 50 50. It could be fun. Omega. Last time we went after treasure, it didn't go as planned. <sighs> <laughs> the bad Batch, like a bunch of dads, just like, ugh. Nice. Colorless landscape. It's telling us to go south. Let's go! <laughs> now she's got the right attitude. Hmm. Did Omega, Omega make a new bestie in Fee? So the, the landscape is raised. Burned down. Look! It's a secret entrance! Is this going to be a new creature? It's a new planet, right? Whoa. These etchings are easily a thousand years old. Oh, shit. Older. We are standing in the entrance way to Skara Null. Every pirate out there has heard the legend of Skara Null. Oh. It traces back to the ancients. The, the Jedi. No. Older. Well, what kind of treasure's in there? The heart of the mountain. You need to align the symbols in the right order. Oh, okay, so, yeah. It's like a, like a tomb puzzle. Very Lara Croft. Tomb Raider. Some of the symbols are glowing. Oh, 
That can't be good. We're fine. But there's too much debris. We, we can't get through. There are smaller side tunnels throughout. We will navigate a path. Oh, great. At the other end. Good. This is too easy. Part of the fun. <sighs> Loosen up, bandana. <laughs> Classic. It's the key. I'm holding it. And then you turn it, of course. <laughs> National treasure. Tomb Raider. It's not that easy. There's always a dragon guarding the treasure. Or you, you pick this thing up and it, the tablet sinks down and a bunch of booby traps go off. Haven't you ever seen Indiana Jones? You gotta replace it with a bag of sand. Don't be stupid. <laughs> and it, has, it, it looks like the stones from Fifth Element or something. The elements that has the same lines in it. Come on, that has to set off a booby trap. Yeah, there's no way. What, bro? What? No oh, shit, just got real. No. No. Oh my god, they're in a giant neck. It's like rising out of the mountain. Bro. What? Yo, that thing is huge. Definitely not. Yo. What? Yo. I think it's got like a Death Star laser on it. Whatever we are standing inside is highly destructive. If removing the heart of the mountain activated it, perhaps we must return it to its proper place to deactivate it. Can't you find a separate kill switch or something? That's obviously what raised the landscape. Dude. Oh boy. It looks exactly like a stone from the fifth element. There's no way you're not gonna tell me they didn't purposefully do that. Come on, Fee. Really? Oh my god. It looks like a giraffe or something. I don't know, I don't know. I feel like they might be setting up a little bit of a hunter fee relationship. Come on, we're not out of this yet. Oh no, Mel! Get out! Oh my god! Yo! Is like indestructible. Oh! <laughs> Let's go, Wrecker. Tech, do something. Bro, what is the purpose of this thing?
Bro. Close call. What on earth was the point of that? Now it's self-destructing? Oh my god. That was a short-lived experiment. This puts us at 0 for 2 in Treasure Hunt. <laughs> Kingdom well, if we're gonna do all this pirate stuff, I hope we run into uh, Hondo at some point. Yeah, that, that mech machine, I don't know what you want to call it. Well, that was fun, but honestly, at the end of the end of the day, that's a pretty basic, non-eventful episode. Nothing happened, they didn't accomplish anything, they kind of just went to this place, failed their mission, had some fun, you know, showing some cool stuff, but uh, not really the best episode, because, I mean, other than maybe possibly just, like, you know, introducing Fee as, like, an auxiliary character to the squad, like I said, there was a little bit of a... Uh, it seemed like they were hinting at, like, the possible beginning of a... It doesn't necessarily have to be romantic, but a relationship of any kind between Fee and Hunter. It's because they, they had them paired up, and then they were interacting with one another, and, you know, she saved his life, and he returned the favor and saved hers. Uh, so there's a little bit of a connection there. There's a potential to build off of that and show something interesting. Uh, and Fee's, you know, a cool character. Wanda Sykes is funny, and like I was just saying, pirates in general, it would be fun if... They run into Hondo looking for treasure or something. Um, Hondo's obviously everyone's favorite pirate character in Star Wars. Um, I, I, not very eventful, right? I don't think there's anything really significant hidden in this episode either. That mech was ridiculous. I'm not sure of the purpose of it or why, you know, the heart of the mountain. Is it just a standalone? You know, they wanted to get that giant stone and then put it back in them. It's easy as that. The, the, the giant mech is, is destroyed. I would have thought that that something of that significance would have had a, you know, it, there's a, there's a purpose to it. Um, but apparently, just that whole landscape had been raised that by that machine. Why it's there, what its purpose was, I, I'm not really sure. There was definitely some um, tributes being paid to some other things there, like like I said, Indiana Jones, Tomb Raider, uh, some of the like you know rotating puzzles to make and unlocking keys and stuff. A lot of that's you know stuff you've seen before in anything that involves raiding tombs. Um, but that's always fun. That's always, that's always interesting to, to, to do. Uh, you know, I don't think there's much more to say about this episode. It was fun and it's, it's, it's easy as usual. Same as always, like it, this stuff is easy to digest and it's not here to be heavy and, and, and insane, but in terms of significance, this might just be like the least important episode of the five we've seen so far. Um, it's always fun to see things develop and keep moving on. So, I mean, and fortunately in this uh, in Bad Batch, we got a lot of episodes to play with, so it's okay to have some of these individual episodes that don't necessarily add an insane amount to the plot. They're just like a little side track, a little side episode, uh, standalone, whatever you want to call it. Uh, like I said, last week it may be a standalone episode, but there may be little individual nuggets hidden in there that come back later on that are going to be significant. Um, oh yeah, another, another little Easter egg was the that stone had carving like lines in it it looked exactly like one of those element stones from the fifth element um almost to a t except for the way it was colored but uh yeah you know fun and uh i don't think there's anything wrong with it it's just not not very significant at the end of the day but i liked it nonetheless so let me know what you thought about it in the comments below don't forget to like and subscribe guys and i will see you in the next reaction peace